Hello on this Wednesday, I'm Kristen Durand and here's a look at your Fastcast digital headlines for August 14th. In today's top story, one person is dead after an officer involved shooting in the university area neighborhood. According to the Anchorage Police Department, it happened on the 4800 block of East 43rd Avenue in the Greenbrier apartment complex. No officers were injured, but a suspect is dead. Police say there will be a large presence at the scene through the morning, but no roads are closed. More details will be available after a scheduled 9 a.m. press conference, which we will live stream on alaskasnewsource.com. New information on another officer involved shooting from back in May. The family of Chris Handy is filing a lawsuit against four Anchorage police officers involved in his shooting death. The 24 page lawsuit filed on behalf of Handy's parents and children details the night he died when police arrived for a disturbance call. The state office of special prosecutions declined to file criminal charges against the officers involved. The family suit claims officers did not warn Handy of potential use of deadly force. APD says it will not comment on this case. Governor Mike Dunleavy signed a new law Tuesday. He says will enable customers to save mon uh, money on their power bills. It works with power generated through community renewable energy systems known as net metering. Net metering credits customers for energy produced and fed into the grid. Current regulations limit this to single meters, but with the signing of Senate Bill 152, customers can pool resources to get collective benefits. After I introduced this bill, I had a town hall meeting at Chester Park, which is a senior center in my district. And unprompted, unscripted, one of the first questions they, they asked was, we want to put solar panels on the roof and have them tied into the various co-op owners' houses. But we're making, I think, some huge uh, steps in that direction with the number of bills that were passed the last year or two. This is one of them. The legislation aims to achieve an 8% increase in renewable energy on the rail belt. The law takes effect in 90 days. Updates to these stories and more can be found right here on alaskasnewsource.com. Have a great day and thanks for watching.